Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a requested video which is a rundown of the Valentina Donna range of perfumes. If you're new here then welcome to my channel, it's all about perfumes, yay! If you're a perfume fan as well then come and join us, subscribe, get involved in the comments and every week I have new perfume videos so do join me and send me your requests in the comments. I do read them and I love doing your requests as well. As always in all my videos, the perfumes will be linked down below where you can get them, UK, US links, and also where you can get my awesome new 60s top, which I'm in love with. So without further ado, let's get into the perfumes. So the Valentino Donna range is, I guess, probably the main range from Valentino. I recently did a video on their Valentino Ah range of perfumes which I'll leave linked down below. Um, those are the two sort of main rages from the brand. And this is probably more classic, I'd say, than the Valentina range. The bottles are cool, but relatively simple. Um, the fragrances are very sort of inclusive and like not particularly polarizing in general, I'd say. But let's go through them. So the original uh, Valentina Donna came out 2014. This is a interesting floral fragrance. So it has rose and iris in, and it's definitely a fragrance of two halves. So initially there's a sort of fresh citrus bergamot that you smell, you smell some the, the rosy, irisy, light florals, but as it dries down, it really, the iris starts to dominate and what there also is in here is vanilla and leather and they are very warm, um, long-lasting fragrance notes. So as a result, this does last and it becomes like an irisy, rosy leather with some of the sweetness of the vanilla in. Not what you would expect from the bottle, which is very light and pink and you expect it to just be quite a, a light flyaway perfume. That leather is quite a bold choice from Valentino, considering this is the main um, version, not one of the flankers. So it can be a bit divisive. I've heard people say that they feel that in the dry down it becomes a bit masculine because I guess leather is the type of fragrance note used in a lot of ma male perfumes. Um, but those floral notes are still always there. So I'm not sure how true that really is. But if you're looking for something that's floral, feminine, but has a little bit of a sort of interesting twisty vibe, you know, perhaps you like the kind of, it's like feminine, but with a leather jacket, you know? So it's a bit edgy, a bit of a unisex vibe, but also very feminine, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so it's an interesting one. So we then had Valentino Aqua released. Now, I thought Aqua is gonna be really light, fresh, um, sort of spring, high, very fresh fragrance. Interestingly, I don't, Think this is aquatic at all. Um, it's almond and it's frangipan, so you really get warmth of the almond coming through. You've got jasmine and hawthorn that sort of have, give it a white floral heart. There's some pear which adds to the initial um, freshness in it, but predominantly the almond really dominates, and again, it has that interesting warmth to it, which you really don't expect from the bottle and the name. So, like, these are definitely ones you have to try. They're not predictable, they're not what you expect. This is definitely a bit sweeter than the original, perhaps, even though it doesn't have the vanilla, but it's a sweet almond. Um, but definitely one to check out if you like almonds. I think that almonds are good for sort of wintery fragrances if you because they're very cozy it's a cozy way to have a perfume with almond in um i don't really think of almonds when i think of summertime but everyone's different so we then have donna noir absolute and in a black bottle this is what you expect it to be uh, a heavier version of donna so this time the leather note is the dominant note and it's mixed with a kind of liqueur um sort of alcoholic tightness to it so it, it does smell like having a uh, like a plum liqueur in a very dark chocolate like very intense that intense leather there's a little bit of pepperiness to it and the sandalwood in here as well and a little bit of rose which helps give a nod to the original mixing with the leather keeps it feminine but basically this is a plum liqueur with 
loads of leather so it means it's going to be good for lasting it means that it has a relatively good projection and it's definitely something that you want to wear like you wouldn't just casually wear this you'd sort of be wanting to have a bit of presence and mystery about you I think it's a bit quite sexy as well to have all that leather and that those liqueur notes um, perhaps not appropriate for work um, you know you don't really want to be smelling of alcohol at work I mean, it depends what your job is, but um, a really interesting one. And then continuing on this deep black bottle range, they brought out Noir Absolute Oud Essence, which, as you'd expect, is an oudy version. So leather, sandalwood, cedarwood, loads of woods with the leather, but then oud is the dominant fragrance. So if you like oud, this is for you. It has a sort of Middle Eastern vibe to me. It reminds me a lot of um, Dubai. Um, it, it's very um, intense fragrance note oud, quite an expensive fragrance note, um, and definitely not for the faint-hearted. Um, this is this is deep midwinter in my opinion they also have a noir absolute musk essence now this actually doesn't have musk in what it does have is aldehyde now aldehyde is what we recognize and know from the chanel number no. five perfume which is probably the most famous aldehyde perfume so it has an a, a, you know reminds you a bit of chanel number no. five it's got rose heliotrope and orange blossom so quite floral but predominantly it's a rosy aldehyde um which I can see how you might, it's close to musk, but it's not a musky fragrance in my opinion. I guess they can't really call it like Valentino aldehyde perfume. I mean, it sounds like a chemical. Um, well, I guess it is. But yeah, so this is, yeah, definitely one to try. And if you like Chanel number no. 5, then you'll probably like this. Then, more recently, we've had Donna Rosa Verde, which is a really interesting green take on Donna. So it's very fresh at first, bergamot really dominates, and then once the sort of citrusiness of bergamot goes, you get that greenness, like sort of like the peel on the outside of a bergamot sort of lime type fruit. There's also very green leafy notes and um, a zesty ginger as well. The rose is here, which gives a nod to the original, but there's none of the leather from the other ones. The green notes really do dominate here. This is definitely a spring, summer, um, you know, dewy morning on the grass type perfume, daytime perfume. Um, and yeah, if you like green perfumes and you want to feel very sort of natural and like walking in a forest, then this is it. But it is very much more like a forest than a tropical rainforest forest it's more of that um green like english green trees rather than tropical fresh green and then lastly most recently we have valentino donna born in roma which is a black currant vanilla fragrance i love black currant fragrances so this is very exciting i also think the bottle is super cute as well and probably my favorite bottle in the range there's a sort of jasmine and a cashmere warmth to this perfume with some wood pink pepper unusual ingredients um but the the vanilla in it with the black currant is almost like a uh, again almost like a liqueur black currant rather than a fresh berry so this feels like a quite sexy perfume and the branding sort of reflects that as well i think in the advertisement this is kind of like your black opiums yeah your le nuit trésor you know it's it's sexy and feminine and vanilla but with a fruity funness to it um which keeps it light-hearted and, and feminine and girly um so yeah i really like this one so that's it guys let me know what you think of the range do you have any quite varied isn't it so let me know what you think and of course keep your requests coming give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you're not already but that's it guys so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you again real soon bye